Okay, so hey, I thought I'd put something together, put a video together to assist with the course project that is coming up pretty soon. Next thing you know, it'll be here. So I want to be able to assist. So the first thing you're going to need to do is once you go into course content is to go to the course project, click on it. and the instructions come up for the project. I'm very excited about this project and hope you will too. This gives you an opportunity to really put together everything that you've learned in the class. I know I say here to print out the material. You don't have to kill a bunch of trees if you don't want to, but you definitely want to um, download it and save it so that you have it, um, you have easy access to it. Now it's time to put it, put it all together, everything that you've learned. So the math is not going to be hard. I've really kind of helped you out with that by giving you an Excel template that will calculate the ratios for you. I do want you to be very thoughtful in your analysis. I want you to critically think. That's very, very important. And the information needs to be neat and organized as my eyes are not possibly the only eyes that will be looked at this. Who I'm sorry, that will be looking at this. Um, advisory board members may be looking at it as well. So your neatness as well as the thoughtfulness of your answer and of answers and of course accuracy is going to mean a lot. But 75% of it is just following the directions. Your report needs to be put on the Word document. That's where you submit what I call your narrative and that's where all the wording pretty much is. And then the calculations will be done in the Excel spreadsheet. So you will submit to me at one time in the Dropbox that's in module 13, you will submit to me the Word document and the Excel document, okay? The spread template, spreadsheet template, that's the Excel document and the report template. That is going to be your Word document that you're going to use. Now, I want you to be able to see what everything looks like. So I'm gonna go first to course project instructions. And I'm gonna go up. Okay, basically what this project is all about is putting together all of the, the knowledge that you've learned throughout the course. You're going to analyze the changes in the performance of a bank across two periods and in relation to its peer group. You need to choose an institution. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna ask for that this week. Today is Monday, March 19th. I'm going to ask that you submit it to me on Friday. All you have to do is at least know the bank. You're then going to, um, that bank has to be listed on the Uniform Bank Performance Report. There was a previous assignment where I asked you to go in and look at this report so you can get a feel for it, so you should already feel comfortable. You're gonna look at the most current um, standard report showing data for two years, and that typically comes up for you. We'll take a look at that. That's not difficult. And then you're gonna collect that data and the uh, for your bank and for the appropriate peer group. What else do I want you to see on here? Um, there is a link here that will take you directly to the UBPR report. I also have another document, I believe. Um, the UBPR download instructions should have that have the link on it as well. So once you go to the report, and I've actually got one up. Once you go to the report, okay, that's taking a minute. Um, I'm gonna do another search because I was already up. I'm gonna do another search. Um, you'll go to report first. You see the little red asterisk there. You're going to choose Uniform Bank Performance Report. And then you're going to input your bank name here. I said SunTrust. And then you're going to search. You may see a lot of listings. You can just go with the name or you may go with the um, National Association. I wouldn't choose SunTrust Bank Card because we want to look at the bank overall. We're not really interested in the bank card division. So try to go with one that just 
that you know one of the options that just gives you the name of the bank if it doesn't um, you may want to just kind of click on them the different options and see what you see you also may want to look over here and choose the most recent one I'm not going to give you get into a whole lot of haggling with that once you've done that it will let you know the report period so it pretty much comes up the most recent two years so you will then click generate report I don't think I'm recording okay I'm sorry start talking to myself because I'm like am I recording I am okay so the report comes up and on the course project or in the course project folder I listed here um, some places where you can find the data that you will be asked for okay the data that you're going to be asked for is going to be listed on your template the template is going to ask you for of course your name the bank you specify that if there you shouldn't have any unusual issues sometimes I've had students who worked for a bank and maybe they didn't have the information listed on the UBPR report but they were able to access that information from another channel and I've allowed that um, typically I found that that's harder for students so we typically stay away from that uh, you'll give a bank overview a very detailed overview and talk about the bank its clientele and its com its competition so basically its customers and those it does you know it rivals and then here is where we'll get into the meaty stuff where you'll start inputting the information the bank that you're using and the peer group and then you'll list the information that we'll talk about in just a second for this particular um, section is asking for the return on equity and the equity multiplier so we'll put that information here for 2016 and for 2017 we'll do the same thing for the peer group then you're going to give me some narrative information at least two to three sentences probably want to do more than that if you're really critically thinking and you'll talk about what are the changes that you see in the return on equity over the time okay over the two periods that you're looking at and what is that banking standing uh, relative to the its peer group how is it doing that's when you go back and look at what is return on equity what is that talking about has it gone up has it gone down is it the same trend with the peer groups so that's what you're going to talk about not difficult so you may be like oh so how am I going to get the ratios well also in that same folder course project folder you'll see something called the spreadsheet template that is your Excel spreadsheet all you have to do is put the information in these blue cells you're gonna fill all these blue cells these are links that will then then do the calculations for you it will calculate your return on equity it will calculate your equity multiplier so you're not having to do a whole bunch of hard stuff however we've talked about what these things are we've broken down what these things are so where do you get the information to put here well that's when we go back to our report um, let's see okay so if you click on summary ratios you'll get some different you'll get some additional information you'll get for 2017 SunTrust banks um, well that's percentage of, of okay yeah interest income you'll get its interest income and then you'll get its peer group interest income and then 22 that's the percentage change in what it was in 2016 to now 2017 okay that's the number of points it's changed in the same for the peer group but here's what's really great you're gonna take this number that's 324 3.24 for the bank and the 3.03 .03 for 2016 in the bank and you're going to put it here I think it was 3.03 .03, and then we went to 3 3.24 you're going to put that here you'll do the same thing for 
the peer group. Um, 2017, the peer group was 3.61, 3.45. So we'll go here and we'll say 3.45, 3.61. Okay, you'll go through the, and do that for each line item and then your ratios will be calculated here. So pretty much all you have to do is just input the numbers. Very simple, right? And then you're gonna come over here and you're gonna talk about it. You'll list that information here and you're going to talk about it. What I would like for you also to do is print out the pages of your document. This is going to be part of what helps you with your grade. Simply following the directions, be sure to print um, and along with your Excel spreadsheet. So I actually spoke incorrectly. As, as long along with your Excel spreadsheet um, and your Word document, you will also include. You'll email me um, your bank performance report as well. So that I can go back and I can verify, of course. That's how we get a good grade. Okay, so you'll go through that for all of the areas and you see 20XX right there. I'm gonna go back and change that. But you'll go through that for your return on assets. You'll look at asset utilization, profit margin. You'll talk about it. Same thing, so on and so forth. And then um, your very last question is an overall evaluation and explanation of any major changes. So some things that really jump out, these, this is where you really want to talk about it. You may be, you may have talked about it up here, but you really come down here and expound on it. And what I'm really looking for is your logic. I'm not just looking for you to, um, a bunch of words, just saying something because they, you want to say something. I'm really looking for you to have some show some type of understanding. Okay, so I think that that is all I wanted to, to cover. Of course, if you have any questions, I want you to feel free to reach out to me. And I hope that this helps. I look forward to getting your submissions. Goodbye.